Hey guys, I'm Adam from Little Italy and today we're going to be going through a few things about the Azaga grinder. So first off, we're just going to start by explaining the different components of the Azaga grinder. We'll go through how to change your grind and how to increase your dosage and a few of the cool functions to go between pre-grind and on-demand grind. So one of the reasons I love this grinder so much it is the fact that it actually does have a pre-grind function and I find that super useful in high volume cafes and it's something we'll touch on a bit later on. So first point of contact is the hopper. Now as you can see it's locked in and the reason for that is it has a little pin that if you pull the button on the front collar and you rotate it'll hold it out of place and that will loosen your hopper for you. Now if you come closer you'll see there's a little bit of an indent on the Perspex hopper. That is where this little pin over here comes into. So if you just have a look over the top you'll see that there's a little bit of a pin and that's what's going to be holding your hopper in place. So whenever you take out your hopper, just as a rule of thumb, I always like to make sure the gate is closed. So when you see that the silver chute is all the way closed, it ensures that no beans will fall through. When you want to open it, just rotate it and push the other way to allow the beans to go through. So again, as best practice, make sure that you close the chute Pull the pin towards you, rotate slightly to the left or the right to make sure it stays out of the hole, and then you'll be able to easily lift the hopper. Now when you're putting it back, you can just release it, it'll fall into place, and as you rotate, it should find the hole and lock it in place so it's nice and steady.